So I was on a client call the other day about having them have me edit a Zoom video and they're like, hey Peter, you're the expert here. How do I make their webcam quality look better so we can actually use it for our own website? And I'm like, wait a minute, how about I make a YouTube video? This would make a great YouTube video. So in this video, guys, I'll show you exactly how you instantly upgrade your webcam quality. You don't have to spend a dollar, a dime, and how you make videos looking like potatoes to looking like a little bigger potato. Stay tuned for this video. I'll show you exactly that. No fluff, no filler. So in this video guys, I'll show you with the webcam and you don't have to spend a damn dollar or a dime of how you instantly upgrade your webcam quality. So let's get straight into it. As tip number one, I want to show you guys is that right now, for example, the biggest, biggest mistake that people make when it comes to using Zoom meetings or webcams is that they're backlit. All that means is that if you have your light source is in the back. So the back is really overexposed and your face is not. So in a free situation, all you need to do is simply pick up your laptop and turn around and that will make you front facing with the light source is hitting you as a key light. But in this situation or scenario, I'm gonna show you guys that I'm gonna move up my ring light right now. And I'm gonna put that in front of me and y'all gonna see the difference from me using the ring light and essentially pretending that it is the sun. And yes, it's creating like a little bit of a harsh shadow because it is facing up, down. But as you can see the difference that you can actually see my face now. Yes, I look a little, little bit of a ghost. I can like turn down the intensity of this. But the difference between um, it's me being front facing and pretend that this is a window in comparison to, you know, being backlit, it is a big, big difference in how you can instantly increase your webcam quality without spending a dollar by just being in front of a window. So this is me simulating a window. Tip number two is when it comes to uh, filming webcam qualities of how you instantly make your video qualities better is making sure you have some sort of external microphone. Because as you can tell right now, the microphone on this is horrendous and you can hear too much echo. Sound quality is really bad and that's what they do with these laptops, right? They don't make audio good microphones with this. As you can tell the difference as if I were to use the audio from this guy, my Z50 with the Rode VideoMic Pro shotgun mic, the difference between quality sound is almost night and day, guys. Almost night and day. So when it comes to actually having a good audio quality, most people like, yes, you want to upgrade the, the visuals of your video, but if you have horrible audio, it's not usable, especially if you want to use this on your website or have some sort of like testimonial video. Audio is such much more important than let's say if you have a potato like I am using right now. And tip number three is composition. So when it comes to having a good lighting, good audio, is you want to make make sure that you have what I like to call headspace. So let's say if I was right here, right? What's wrong with this? Everything, because my forehead's cut off and I look like an egg. So my rule of thumb is you want to compose your video so you were in the, the center, or maybe you can be in the rule of thirds if this was a professional video, but let's say this is just, just a meeting. So you are right here in the center, and I like to have, I put my hand here, and it's what I like to call headspace. So you want to have roughly a hand from the top of the screen to your head so you, you don't feel claustrophobic and you are properly framed within the video. And if you do have the money, I would highly suggest you upgrade to a external microphone. This is the Blue Yeti, standard for streamers, but I would definitely recommend this if you were to use, upgrade your, your webcam quality audio, your microphone. And a little bonus tip is contrasting colors when it comes to actually being on camera. So if your background is white, you wanna wear a black shirt. If your background is black, you wanna wear a white shirt. Wait, did that make sense? You know, you guys know what I mean, right? Contrasting colors, opposite colors, so you pop out more instead of blending in and camouflaging. And those are some basic tips of how you actually instantly up your webcam quality. And that's how I do it if I were to use a webcam for a video meeting. But let's jump back into my normal state and uh, get this uh, webcam down here, you know? I mean, my ring light. 
almost center framed. And now guys, that was just the basic tips of how you instantly improve your webcam quality, especially have Zoom meetings, webcam meetings, where everyone nowadays in this pandemic is working from home or you have interviews. That's how you upgrade it, just like anything, just like any sort of YouTube setup, making sure you have good lighting, good audio, and you're composed completely framing. And uh, that's all when it comes to instantly upgrading. Same thing applies if you wanna get more serious about videos and how I teach you one-on-one -on -one with my crash course, link in the description. And if you wanna check out a webcam, the easiest way to have you instantly increase that, yes, apply the tips, but also check out the C920, which is a webcam which is for less than $100. It's like 60 bucks, I think. Link in the description, I actually made a review on that. And if you wanna check that out and purchase it, help me help you. And everything that I mentioned in this video or news is in the link below, in description. So my name is Peter, you're watching Broke Virginia Collective where we all start with nothing, but you can always have better audio and visual videos, effects, or quality, and uh, you can also create, wait, what was it? Where, my name's Peter, you're watching a Broken Visionary Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.